communities. And we realized that uh, one of the things that was happening, and I think it's continued to happen, is that the percentage of the taxes paid by the commercial and industrial um, uh, portion of town as a percentage of the whole continued to decrease. One of the reasons it did, and our assessors do a fantastic job, is the way they described it. Basically, you assess uh, commercial property <coughs> different than you do residential property. And you have to, and it makes sense. However, <laughs> what ends up happening is that my condo up on North Road, uh, you guys have it down to a T. You know exactly what that's worth because other condos are selling all the time in the area. So you got a really exact uh, estimate of what my condo is worth, and that's what my tax rate is based on. And if you heard the description of how we evaluate commercial property, it is by far the best way to evaluate commercial property. However, what you end up is with is an inequity because two things happen. One, the cycle of residential property is different from the cycle of commercial property. Residential property goes up at a different time than commercial property and so forth. So when we looked at the data, we said, gee, doesn't it make sense? And I forget what the number was at the time, but say it was 20% 20, 20 of our tax base is commercial and industrial property, then why don't we try to keep that proportion going forward? So what we recommended was a, was a variable rate, similar to I think what Tewksbury is doing, that would change every year based on the total valuation of commercial and the total valuation of residential property. So just food for thought, but I think what you've gotten is a lot of good data and it looks all valid to me. And it's a question of, well, do you guys want to keep seeing the, 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 the cost, you know, drive, you know, 71 year old people like me into a, hopefully, hoping there's a uh, elderly housing complex or whatever you're pushing here? Um, or should we try to at least keep it equitable across the board? And, you know, I go way back when to when I was acquiring data centers for Staples. You know what? Tax rate never entered into my equation. I looked at what the cost per square foot was. I looked at things like what, what was the power uh, grid? What, was, what were the other utilities? Where do my people live? And that's probably the same thing that everybody else does when they decide to come to Chelmsford or not. So, you know, I view the tax rate as basically a smoke screen. And I'm sure small business people, yes, they, they probably notice the difference between, you know, one town and another. But I guarantee you, nobody that's buying, you know, multi-million dollar uh, uh, property, uh, you know, has it within the top 10 on the, on the list. Yeah.